and now presenting your host, a random comedian. <laughs> You know what sucks? The movie's nominated. You know that movie Joker? A bit of a joke, isn't it? Every year I follow the Oscars and the award season and every year I'm more and more disappointed. Which is why I decided to put together my own personal award ceremony celebrating my personal favourites in film in 2019 so you all can tell me how wrong I am. And yes, before we start I did not nominate Joker in any of the following categories. Please do not eat me. The nominees for Best Original Screenplay are The Farewell Once Upon a Time in Hollywood Parasite I don't remember the rest Marriage Story Knives Out And the winner is Parasite On paper, the original screenplay category seems really tough but when I thought about it for a while, I knew Parasite was an easy win. Knives Out, it made Murder Mysteries interesting again for me, and that was a real contender, but at the end of the day, Parasite made a story so simple at its core into something so twisted and complicated, and the more it went on, the more it was excited me and more engaged me, and it was probably the most gripping screenplay of the year, and without a doubt, it needs to win. Hey, I'm Thomas, and I'm hosting the actor thing for The Movie Guy. Now, I don't watch a lot of movies, but if there's one thing that I love, it's keeping it real. <laughs> Why aren't you laughing? Anyway, let's get it going. So, the nominees for Best Supporting Actor are Joe Pesci for The Irishman, Alan Alda for Marriage Story, Song Kang Ho for Parasite, Brad Pitt for Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, and Ray Romano for Paddleton. And the winner is... Brad Pitt for Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Woo! Oh yeah, by the way, this thing's blank. Uh, so, back to you. So I know that Brad Pitt is like, you know, the obvious awards pick, but genuinely, this performance was so cool, calm, collected, that it just felt so right for Brad Pitt and I thought he delivered so much to it that even though it wasn't a particularly demanding performance you could really feel his presence more than anyone else. The nominees for best sound are Little Woman, Ad Astra, Uncut Gems, 1917, Sorry We Missed You and the winner is Ad Astra. I'm going to try and be a bit more brief on these technical categories, but Ad Astra by far had the best sound. Um, just all the music and sound effects and all of that just played so nicely into a, a brilliant package, especially coupled with the voiceovers, and absolutely deserves this. And the nominees for Best Cinematography are Ad Astra, Parasite, A Hidden Life, the Souvenir, 1917, and the winner is A Hidden Life. Ad Astra was a really close runner-up in this category with really nice colours, but A Hidden Life managed to capture landscapes in such a unique, not sorry, unique, but such a beautiful way that only Terence Malick could do, and it was fantastic. 
just made the film so, so, so much more better. The nominees for Best Production Design are Parasite, Knives Out, Little Woman, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, Ad Astra, and the winner is Parasite. Parasite literally made the houses for the film. Like, that was literally made, and they look great. There's such a great contrast, like, it just deserves the win, this win. I don't see how I could give it to anyone else. The nominees for Best Costume Design are Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, Little Woman, Jojo Rabbit, Us, Rocket Man, and the winner is Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. I know the more obvious choice for costumes is Little Woman due to the period piece, but for me, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood has such bright colours and such visually distinct, really nice to look at um, costumes. I think it absolutely deserves to take this, and I just, yeah, I love it. What's that, Doctor? There is no cure? Okay, thank you. Here are the nominees for the Best Supporting Actress. Laura Dern for Little Women. Thomasin McKenzie for Jojo Rabbit, Florence Pugh for Little Women, Katie Proctor for Sorry We Missed You, and Zhao Shujin for The Farewell. And the winner is Florence Pugh for Little Women. This category is pretty stacked. As you noticed, I were nominated two, like, um, younger actresses, um, namely Katie Proctor and Thomasin McKenzie because they both deliver genuinely fantastic performances, Kate Proctor definitely being the best out of Sorry We Missed You, but Florence Pugh managed to make an actress, well not an actress, Florence Pugh managed to make a character who everyone originally hated into one of the most loved in Little Woman, and that was genuinely such a feat that I think it deserves the win. The nominees for Best Animated Film are How to Train Your Dragon, The Hidden World, Toy Story 4, Missing Link, Klaus, I Lost My Body, and the winner is, I Lost My Body. I would give Klaus this award if I was going off influ like influence overall, but I think I Lost My Body is just the better made package, um, with some great music, narratives, um, and a brilliant like rotoscoped animation, it just, the whole thing looks great. The nominees for Best Visual Effects are Klaus, Spider-Man Far From Home, The Irishman, Ad Astra, Avengers Endgame, and the winner is Ad Astra. Ad Astra's visual effects are genuinely fantastic. There's one bit especially with like a gorilla monster which just looks brilliant. And the whole thing complements the film incredibly. It looks great. The nominees for Best Ensemble are... <laughs> Marriage Story. <laughs> Little Women. It's quite hard. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. The Parasite. <laughs> Knives Out. And the winner is... Parasite. I know that Parasite only got one nomination in all my acting categories, so it feels like a weird choice to win Best Ensemble, but for me, each and every performance is so insanely strong in this film, and it has to be so strong, that it all comes together into a fantastic ensemble, which is of course what the award is, and so it deserves this more than anything. The nominees for Best Original Score are Ad Astra. Little Woman, Marriage Story, Parasite, Us, and the winner is Marriage Story. I'm really bad at noticing music in films, so original score is a really hard one for me to judge. But for me, Marriage Story, whether or not that was just the score was so overpowering, but I thought the score complemented the film so well, thanks to Randy Newman's just brilliant musical genius that it really just made everything feel so much more emotional in any particular way. 
The nominees for Best Actress are Saoirse Rowan for Little Women, Aquafina for The Farewell, Anna de Armas for Knives Out, Scarlett Johansson for Marriage Story, Lupita Nyong'o for Us, and the winner is Aquafina for The Farewell. There were some really good performances from women this year, and this category was pretty stacked. But for me, Aquafina made The Farewell, a film that I wasn't too generally into, but did quite like. Aquafina just elevated it to that next level for just an overall fantastic performance. Very much recommended to check this out. The nominees for Best Editing are A Hidden Life, Ad Astra, Parasite, Uncut Gems, The Irishman, and the winner is Ad Astra. Ad Astra for me has all the signs of a Terence Malick film, which I always love to death, and the editing really complements that. The use of voiceovers really well done, and just generally how the whole thing looks and feels in terms of its editing and cuts is just fantastic. The nominees for Best Adapted Screenplay are A Hidden Life, The Irishman, Little Woman, Jojo Rabbit, Toy Story 4, and the winner is Little Woman. Little Woman, this screenplay, it made, like, it, like Florence Pugh, it made one of the most hated characters into one of the most loved. Anyone who says they can't keep up with the timelines, like, I get that, because I couldn't, it, like, the, the time, but as you get into it, like, you notice it, and it's just, it's, it makes it so much more unique and distinct, and I absolutely love this screenplay to death. I love this film. The nominees for Best Director are... Bong Joon-ho, Parasite. Terence Malick, A Hidden Life. Greta Gerwig, Little Woman, James Gray, Ad Astra, Quentin Tarantino, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, and the winner is Bong Joon-ho, Parasite. Bong Joon-ho has just taken all these performances, excelled them to the next level, made a film that looks beautiful, sounds great, has an incredible screenplay and plot, and he's just He's he's so brilliant at the, what he does, and this film just shows that so well. I love it to death. What a great job. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Tale of the Toaster, proud to present the awards on behalf of Tom Spores. The nominees for Best Actor are Leonardo DiCaprio for Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, Adam Sandler for Uncut Gems, Adam Driver for Marriage Story. Taron Egerton, Egerton, Egerton for Rocket Man. Brad Pitt for Ad Astra. And the winner is Adam Driver for Marriage Story. You've been a wonderful audience, thank you very much. I can't say enough how much I love Adam Driver's performance. It's so both internal but also signs of external. The faces, the just the like tone of what he's saying. I know people have said, "Oh, they're overacting. It's a bit too over the top." But I don't feel. I feel like it genuinely fits each scene so well. He portrays this broken, somewhat hateable character really well, and turns him into, in my opinion, the protagonist of the whole story. The whole film feels like it flips towards him because of his performance just being so brilliant. Genuinely, my favourite performance of the entire year. The nominees for Best Film are Parasite, Marriage Story, A Hidden Life, Little Woman, and Ad Astra. The winner is Ad Astra. This was really tough. Parasite is a film I love to death, but Ad Astra is just that little bit more to me in terms of 
the fact that not only is it excelled by a brilliant performance from Brad Pitt, not only is it excelled by brilliant cinematography, brilliant editing, brilliant sound, brilliant score, just everything is great in this film and it's genuinely so incredibly engaging and, and just exciting without having to be so fast moving and stylish. It's just, there's so much going on but it's so slow and it handles this pace fan brilliantly. I love Ad Astra to death. It's without a doubt my film of the year. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. Hopefully we can start making this into an annual tradition. So if you like this, make sure you subscribe and hopefully you can see you again next year and we'll, when we're looking at the films of 2020. I wanted to give a big thank you to everyone who helped me make this video, all the guest stars um, especially. All their links will be in the description if need be. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.